All right, how to write a novel. This is going to be a short episode today because I am so fucking angry. I'm crazy pissed off today. I never thought I would say this ever because I grew up in a cold ass place with horrible winters and terrible snow. Rain is worse than snow. I have fucking had it with this province. Fuck. I love Vancouver, the city, but this is bullshit. This is not a quality life. The snow passed, but now it's just back to the rain. And the rain can fuck off. I fucking hate it. I destroyed an umbrella today because it got blown inside out. And I'm just like, fuck you. I tore it apart with my bare hands. Felt very strong and stupid. But I just can't deal with this. It's just gray all fucking day. There's no sun. There's all these nice mountains and parks and shit, but you can't fucking go anywhere. So who gives a shit? Ah, oh, it's so fucking shitty. This fucking sucks. Like, at least if it's cold, you can just bundle up. And unless it's, like, insanely cold, you can deal with it for two or three hours. And then you go inside and you warm up and it's all over. When it's rainy, you can't go anywhere. You're just damp all the time. It never seems to fucking fix itself. Everything just sucks shit. You can't go anywhere. There's nothing to see. Everything's gray and rainy. It's fucking terrible. Ah, I definitely, like I was saying before, that I'm like, I don't know, should I stay on the west coast? Should I go back east? I am done with this. I am over this. I just signed up for an Airbnb for April, or else I wouldn't have, or else I would have left here after March. But I got two months, two months pre-booked because everything's cheaper and better when you pre-book. But my next pre-booking will be a fucking flight, probably to Montreal or something. But I'm getting out of here. This is fucking... It's just a weird realization to find of just like, man, rain is worse than snow. I am so fucking sick of this. Don't come to Vancouver in the winter. Everywhere in Canada sucks in the winter. There's nowhere good. There is no salvation. It all sucks. Oh, man. Like two months into this little trip, I almost bailed because I couldn't stand the rain anymore. It was making me fucking hate my whole life and I had like a bad Airbnb and I was like, oh, well, that's it then. I guess I'll get out of here. But then the rain stopped for a while and it was nice out. And then the snow even was like, hey, it's snow. That's fucked up, but whatever. It's like postcard snow. But now that it's back to this, I can't fucking do it. I cannot fucking handle this. So the clock is ticking on getting the fuck out of here. But I guess the only little point I wanted to make is, <laughs> it could still tie into writing, is as far as like having a character that you can, that you know you can write. Like, I know this character. I know what's going to happen. I know what they're going to do. This is not coincidence that my main character is a rhino who is crazy, who gets upset and destroys shit. Because I t all day today, just boiling with fucking, I woke up in a bad mood. I tweeted angry shit about hating America. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story, but man, the, the news headline thing today was Dick Sporting Goods will now no longer sell assault-style weapons. And that's real. That's not Demolition Man. That's not a parody. That's real. America is trash. It is such garbage. American pride needs to literally be reversed to American shame. You should be ashamed every fucking day of that shitty country because it's never going to change until you get your fucking heads out of the sand, you dumb fucks. But I took a nap and I'm like, okay, I feel better. I don't feel better. This whole day is just driving me crazy. I want to fucking destroy something. I wish I just had like a baseball bat that I could just smash against a tree or something. So anyway, the point is, <laughs> I'm going to get into the temper thing more sometime in a different episode about having, you know, both sides of my family, big anger issues. I used to have real bad time when I was a kid video games and stuff, I'd flip out. As an adult, it's still a constant, like, let's not get worked up, let's just... But also, the realization as I get older that this isn't going to change and this is how I am. And that as long as you don't fuck with anyone else, as long as you don't hurt anyone else, as long as you don't ruin someone else's life or your own life, as long as you can keep a handle on being this type of person, this is a totally valid type of person to be, which is something I really didn't know. I was just ashamed for a long time. But then I, I learned about different archetypes and personality types, and it's like, oh, the person who is driven by feelings is completely valid. That is a t 
totally normal way that a lot of people function. And, and it's useful. Man, it's useful sometimes. It's like if I'm stuck in some place in life and I'm just stuck in between. I don't know what to do. I don't know this. I don't know that. Should I stay? Should I go? Eventually, I'm going to fucking explode and then it's done. The decision is made. <laughs> you know? And that's really the process of getting older for me is just learning how to contain that so again, so as not to hurt people, so as not to hurt their feelings, so as not to hurt their faces. Because <laughs> you especially can't do that as an adult. But still, that feeling, man, it is a powerful fucking compass to follow. It's like, now there's no question. There is no fucking question anymore. What should I do? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here because I fucking hate it. I want to burn this fucking place to the goddamn ground. I'm so fucking sick of this. I'm so sick of this. I can't fucking stand it. No sun for weeks? That's not life. That's fucking crazy. This fucking sucks. Ugh. I mean, it's a shame in a sense, because I love Vancouver. It's my favorite city in Canada. And that's why, though. That's why this has been so hard, is I'm like, man, this actually sucks. I've not had a very good time. 80% of the time out here because it's winter and it's just rainy all the time but I'm just trying to deny it trying to no you love Vancouver Vancouver is your favorite look at the mountains look at all the shit it's great and then it finally boils up until it's just like nope here's the truth here's the truth this place can fuck off and next winter I'm going somewhere else doesn't mean it's not still nice in the summer <laughs> but the winter can suck my fucking dick all right so that's it for today Hopefully tomorrow I can get to the shit I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Here's the song Conformist by Extremist because it's fucking great. And that's it. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Tragic! You still exist!